And hello YouTube, this is GS Man I'm Smart here with another tutorial for everyone. And today's tutorial will be about GIMP and we're gonna be teaching you how to render out an image. Now before we can even start rendering out an image, you have to know what render out an image even means. So basically what rendering out an image means is cutting out an image from an original background and placing it into another image. Let's show you an example uh, with some pictures I gathered. So say you have this flower right here, and you notice the flower has a, back, a, a black background here. Now, say you want to place this flower into this red background. How are you going to get that flower into this background? So that's what basically what we're going to be showing you is how to render out images from their backgrounds. So let's go ahead and go to File, click Open, and you're going to open up your flower. Now that you can do this with any images. Um, there's there's multiple ways to do this. The easiest way to do this, when you have a background like this, when it's a solid color, when it's only one color, the easiest way to do this is cl to click your magic wand tool, the fuzzy select tool, which is at the very top of your toolbox, the first line, you, the little magic wand tool, you click that, and you click what you want to cut out. So I want to cut out the black background. I don't want this black background. So what I do is I just click the black background and you'll see little lines um, go around the flower. Now what you want to do is you want to click layer, transparency, transparency, add alpha channel. Then you want to click edit and cut. As you can see, your flower is cut out for you. Very easy, very simple. Now that's if you have, like I said, a solid color background. If you have any solid colors, uh, any plain greens, plain reds, plain blues, whites, this works perfect with the magic wand tool. Now sometimes you'll have some more leftover uh, spots in little corners and you can just easily do that with um, some touch up with the eraser tool in the specific areas where there's still some leftover but usually the magic wand tool does a perfect job. Now um, I'm gonna create an image real quick to show you where the magic wand tool does not work. So let me just show you real quick. Cut. We're gonna make a new layer. Okay, now say I have something like this. How am I going to get this flower out of the background if the flower doesn't have a solid color background? Now there's two ways you can do this. Now you might see this color select tool up here. Never use the color select tool because what happens is when you click a red up here, if your flower has some red in it, it will take that red out as well. If you click a green and your flower has some green in it, it will take that green out of your flower as well. So never use the color select tool. Now there's several ways you can do this. You can either use your eraser tool and erase around the flower. And you know, use different sizes of brushes and zoom in and do a fine job of erasing around it. So you can do an eraser job, which is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with doing an eraser job. But if you want to, if you don't want to do erasing, then there's always an easier way to do this, which is by grabbing your lasso tool here, the free select tool, which is on the first line as well. And you can zoom in to your picture and you grab your lasso tool and you can just make a rough outline here and then click select invert edit cut and then you can continue to do your erasing job you see most of it is out and you can continue to, to, to do your erasing like so 
But if you don't if you don't want to do that, there's another option for you that GIMP provides. Another option is to use a scissors tool. Now, what the scissors tool does, it lets you pick what you want to cut out. So all you have to do basically is click a section on your flower, and it will it will basically cut it out for you. You don't need to do every single little centimeter because GIMP already knows what you want to cut out. So you can just go every few inches, really. Now, if GIMP does mess up, like say here it messes up, like say it moves all the way over here, you can move your cut tool dots, and you can just keep on going around and going around and going around. You see, I can go several inches, and it'll still do a good job. As you can see here, it messed up a little bit. You can move this up and fix it yourself. So you just go around and go around and go around. And when you get back to here, to, to your first dot, make sure you click your first dot. And then you can just click edit and cut as well. So there's several ways that you can do this. There's not just with the magic wand tool. There's not just with the eraser tool. There's a scissors tool also, but never use the select by color. So that's basically how you get your flower into a, into a background. So when you have your stuff erased, the background erased, all you have to do is click edit, copy, and then you click, uh, you open up your background that you want, and you click edit, paste as, new layer, and this image is a little big oh, I copied the wrong layer when you copy your layers you want to make sure you have your you have you have the picture with the flower selected so like I said edit paste as new layer and you see there is your flower and you basically have now moved one image to another image. Now the easiest way to do this, an even easier way to do this, say you were looking for a character, a video game character or a TV show character, all you basically have to do, say I want to get Altair from Assassin's Creed, you can type in Altair Assassin's Creed Render on Google Images and it will give you, it will give you already stuff that's already done for you. Now when you look for these pictures, you want to make sure they end in PNG. Don't get things that end in things like JPEG because JPEG, they're not rendered for you. This one's not rendered for you. Okay, so you want to make sure they end in PNGs. Some GIFs will work, but PNG is basically what you want to look for. So you just save this image, and I've already saved the image. And then when you open the image up, you click Open. And there's the Assassin's Creed one that I saved. And as you can see, it is already rendered out for you. The job is already done perfectly for you. So you don't even have to do anything. All you want to do is you can erase the logos they have or any writing they have around it. And you basically have your render done. You can click Edit, Copy to your background. And all you have to do is click Edit, Paste as, New Layer. And there you go. It's already done for you. So it's very easy. You can just search renders on Google and it will give you renders for everything. So this is the easy way to do it. The easiest way to do it is search renders on Google. But then again, if you don't find any renders, you can always use the cut tool, the scissors tool, the magic wand tool, the lasso tool, the erase tools. There are several ways you can do this. And whichever way you prefer doing it, that's the best way to do it for you. There's no real official way to do it. Just pick whatever you're comfortable with and you should be fine. But the easiest way is to look up renders on Google. So this completes our tutorial. I hope everyone learned how to render out images. Um, I, I pretty much explained all the ways you could do this. There probably is one more way, but I haven't thought of it and I haven't seen it and it probably isn't any good. So if you find another way, hey, that's great. But um, these are the the, the basic and the most effective ones so I hope everyone enjoyed you can subscribe to my channel if you like I have several other uh, tutorials not just on GIMP I have plenty of other tutorials uh, like the video if you want you can comment if you want you can add me as a friend I accept all friend requests and um, thank you for watching and this is GS Man of Smart and I'll be back sooner than you think don't go anywhere